Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Crashy and today we're going to be jumping into a live VOD review of one of our subscribers on the channel. He's actually a channel member, Calvary. He's going to be an Ultra one and you can see the makeup of his team here. We have two Ultras or yeah, two Ultras, three veteran players. Not the best team comp, but honestly not the worst team comp I've seen. Absol Machamp going together, eh, a little sus. And the enemy team is also like a little sus with some of their picks, but that's not the point. This is solo key ranked. We're going to be watching our boy playing uh some venusaur is that right yeah okay so we're on the spectator tool if you haven't seen it really cool that we can see the score and i'll be able to press up on this window and we can kind of keep tabs on the battle items the abilities and things of that nature so it looks like a traditional 2-2 lane from both teams the top lane is going to be a guard of war and a charizard so hopefully this will be a good lane they have pikachu and bulbasaur which is like a pretty solid lane in comparison so we'll see how they use their abilities so one thing that I can note there is like using the Razor Leaf to start that off leaves room for them to potentially last hit that APOM. So might want to look to hold that just in case, like get a couple autos in, maybe the boosted attack and then go into the Razor Leaf because that could potentially help secure. But nonetheless, good damage there. That was almost a kill. Ooh, eject button. Oh, so close. I actually don't, I don't hate that play. A little overzealous because it didn't work out, but hey, had that worked out, you'd be good. Now we just want to make sure you get back. One thing I can't speak to is your actual held items. Oh, you want to get out of that. Okay, so we either have passive or focus ban, maybe both. I don't know how to tell, to be honest, uh, with Venusaur, since his passive is essentially like a focus ban. Um, but you're healing up. No biggie. Let's see if you spend this time. Let's see how you do this. It's like even saying scenario here, I don't think you have your Razor Leaf, but when you have it, you should probably spam it here because it would be good for securing. Nice. Let's see if you get that. Nice. Solid. And now you just want to keep pushing and you've got good damage here. This is definitely a diveable situation. If you get that, the web, if the Electro Ball comes out potentially. Your Pikachu's not playing with you, which is not your fault, but y'all could definitely have dove that. So that's unfortunate that he's not in the mood for it, but you gotta kind of like work on your expectations and back yourself up. So you're, you're fine. I think you honestly played there right, and I think Pikachu played it wrong, but it looks like Pikachu might be able to get that kill, maybe? No. 8-10 on the clock. I haven't really been paying attention to the rest of the lanes or anything like that. Like, honestly, right here, I would probably take a berry just to put it on cooldown because there's really no reason not to. Um, just in case, because you never know. If you need to push up, regardless, it's fine. You're doing your thing. They're kind of put themselves in terrible positions and you just take advantage of it. So let's see how you decide to go bottom or not go bottom. Good decision to go and score. No reason not to. We have some insider information to know that that's not a risky play here but y'all are kind of controlling the pace of the game. So let's see if you head bottom. Let's see what you do here. Good damage. I mean, if they're going to stay up here and feed you kills, then that's definitely an option. So solid. All right, you're low. I'd like to see you rotating to bottom sometime soon. Pikachu looks like he wants to rotate bottom. I think bottom might be struggling just based on looking at the map. Staying for top beast is not a terrible decision, but I think you have to kind of read the game. In this game, I think maybe going bottom was the play. But just something to think about in terms of, of like reading the variable change. This is one thing I, I've been starting to talk about a little bit more is trying to understand variable change. So there's kind of an outline with the game, the way that you want to play it, how you want to focus your lane, focus the farm and then go toward Dreadnought. But you have to be able to understand the circumstances that the game might put you in or that the enemies might put you in and knowing how to read variable change. So you use an eject button there. Not sure if that was necessary, but I think that's okay. You want to be here for your team. So unfortunately, y'all lost bottom, but you're strong. So your influence here is definitely going to be welcome. So like I said, I think you should have read the variable change a little bit in the top lane on bottom just to, to understand where I think you should have been, but it's fine. You know, not everything's going to be perfect. In fact, it will probably never be. So get your score in. Cool. He gets his 40 in. Nice. And now y'all just react. At this point, they already have a, a ball of people top lane, so you're probably gonna have to give that up. And so you probably just want to farm. Um, 550 bees are gonna be coming up in 15 seconds. So at this point, I probably, if I was you, I would either full pinch in here, depending on. I can't move the camera in spectator mode, so depending on how this fight looks, you either full pinch in and try to hard win this fight, and then dive top lane to get turn ins or you stay bottom for the 550 bs because 550 bs are coming up now this is a good fight this is a solid potential as long as you have teammates that go with you if you all win this perfect perfect decision 
You break that nice and easy. Um, so bees are up in the bottom lane. At this point, you should just be like considering farm. Like, wh where do I farm? How do I farm? What's on the map for me to do? And right now, if you look at the map, there's nothing to do. The only thing to do is to chase out this kill and go for farm. The bottom side of the map is looking nice and nice and welcoming for farm. You can see that wiggly on the map is going for y'all's bees because no one went for that. So that's a little bit of a missed opportunity. Although you are the person in top lane right now, so that's not necessarily your responsibility. Just something to think about in general for, for anybody that might be watching this. You're doing great. You're, you're making good decisions here in the mid game. You're not overextending yet. Even even being in this position here, like you're alone, but you're getting your farm and your Venusaur. So you're incredibly safe. You do have a timer on the map. So let's see what you do. I'd like to see you go in. You can pinch here. Perfect. You find an early pick. The Dreadnought's coming up. All you need to do now is uh, either position for some kind of a kill. Like you could rotate up into that Machamp or pull down. Didn't think my controller was going to do that or my game was going to do that. Um, but you're you're here, you're grouped, you're fine. If the Absol dies, that's on him for being overzealous, so... Um, Alright, so there's an ultimate coming out. Let's see how you, you play this. Nice eject button, put some space between you and them. You're avoiding the Sing, which is good. We need to get some heals on you before you get initiated on. I don't know if they have the Charizard ult, but that's definitely something to be a little, a little worried about. Nice. You're just working it down. You're running it down, doing your thing. Beautiful. Beautiful. Now you just work with your team at this point. So far, you've had a really strong reaction to everything. 4.12 on the clock, using an ultimate there, perfect timing, I'd say. Um, this is a little overzealous, but you're Venusaur, you're fine, I'm not really worried about you, but in terms of that ultimate use there, it's like you could choose to not use an ultimate at all, or you could choose to throw one out and um, and get one back, so totally fine. I think your decision to farm their jungle here is aggressive, I'm not, I'm not opposed to that. Y'all do have a lot of farm on your side of the map, so like in general, the team being here, this is dumb. All of this is dumb. Granted, it's not you, just saying. All of this, stupid. All of these players, dumb. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> you're, you're making good decisions here, you're stopping the turn in potential. I mean, at least trying, which is, you know, the best you can do. You made a smart call to base. I think you're, you're generally, um, like, playing better than all of your teammates. At this point, you're kind of caught in a rock, between a rock and a hard place where you don't want to let that Rotom score, but you also just have to take the beating, but your teammates followed up, you did what you needed to do, solid. Okay, now I want to see you just hard farming everything. There's no reason to push forward. See right here, I disagree with this. There's so much farm on your side of the map. This is the first thing that I think I've hard disagreed with right now, uh, because there's really no reason for you to be doing this. That said, they have gotten some good turn in to the point where y'all are behind. Uh, Absol got some good points in, and that's just a lack of covering the map from your entire team, which sucks. Also, Mamo's not moving for some reason um but at this point yeah you just want to be farming and you just want to be strong because like like i said you're not in the lead your teammates being overzealous in that bottom lane really actually i think put y'all in a losing position but experience wise you've been crushing it so all you have to do is just keep farming and, and yeah keep doing your thing all right so the guardy is going to get this 50 turn in i don't why is she farming instead of getting the 50 turn in it makes no sense she has no idea what she's doing there's literally no reason to, she could have literally gotten 50 points and she just chose not to that's great that's honestly super lucky for your team at this point you can't afford to die you really don't want to die here okay mamma's coming to help out there's not much time for Oh, you're probably dead. Okay, so you use an ult here, which I don't think is terrible timing. That's It's not the best timing. It's a little early, because it's not like you're going to turn that double kill into a free zap steal or anything, and y'all can't get this. There's no time. So we have to see how y'all play this final endgame. At this point, y'all got a close game message, so you don't know that you're losing. So I have to keep that in mind, and everybody watching has to keep that in mind when it comes to thinking about the decision making. So your team is doing this, which I don't hate, it is incredibly overzealous, and, and you are you have to play reactionary here. You don't have your ultimate. The best thing that you can do is probably try to help fight with them. That is what feels incredibly lucky. It might have been an Absol ult, but regardless, you're making a good decision here. Again, this isn't about how you and your team play perfect. This is how you respond to things. So you made an incredibly strong decision here. You're going to cancel out that one turn in, but it looks like your teammates may not be able to get another score. So we need you to go bottom whenever you see it. And I'm hoping that you'll get your teammate to score, because for whatever reason, doesn't look like he's able to do it, because he's probably busy fighting. Who is it? Mamo just never went and turned in, so now he can't turn in, so now y'all are losing, which sucks, because y'all don't know that you're losing. You got a close battle again, so now we have to see how y'all make a decision. Because at this point, you have to make a push. You don't have a choice. So... You can either bet, you can either take the gamble and 50-50 bet that you're winning, or you can try to make a play and try to win. 
You have one person off the field. If you lose this game, realistically, it's just unfortunate. Because you, you couldn't possibly know if you're winning or losing right now. And that's the that's just the reality of the game without a, without a scoreboard. Twenty five seconds left. Anybody that has a score shield should definitely be trying to make a play right now. You have thirty eight points, which is going to be a tough a tough score. If you can make a play here, it'd be huge. It's really all you have. But if the Mamo can get a score and come on, Mamo. They got 46 in. Can y'all get the 80? I don't know where my scoreboard went, which is terrifying to me. Y'all got the 80 in. That, that sh that's win, right? Y'all win that, right? Incredibly close game. I don't know where my scoreboard went. Incredibly close. End with the 420. Cavalry, I think that you did um, a really good job that game. I think that you went out of your way to play reactionary to your team. You, you, When your team was doing things that I disagreed with, that I thought that they were doing poorly, you went out of your way to back up and make sure that you were playing properly. Um, there was only one time that you overextended, in my in my opinion, and you, you could have just been farming, but that's a tiny variable change. So realistically, you did incredibly nice. I think that you played uh, a really good game, solid performance. So Thank you so much, you guys, for watching this video. I definitely do appreciate it. Drop a like and a comment. If you guys are interested in these kind of videos where I VOD review subscribers, uh, we'll have to talk about it. Maybe we can set this up more and more. So let me know in the comments if you like this kind of video. As always, friends, be sure to be kind to one another. Tell someone that you love them, and I'll see you on the next video.